Let us start and see how exactly you can generate any quotation, block a unit or book an inventory. Now there are two options to access the inventory on your project. First, you can click on the lead card. And there is a view inventory option for any lead which is interested a number. Or you can click on the three dots. Here also you have an inventory option. Now let us first see how you can access inventory from the lead card. Please move the lead to the interested bucket. Once the lead is moved to the interested bucket, you will have a view inventory option. Just click on the view inventory option. It will give you an access to see all the phase wise and the tower wise detail of your inventory as per the project setup. You can click on any phase and the tower to open it and see more information of all the units which are available, which are booked, which are blocked or unavailable. Also on the top side, you have a hamburger menu. If you want to change the view and if you want to see floor wise details, you can click on it as well. And then on the top hand side, there is a filter option wherein you can use different filters like configuration, floor numbers, budget or the status of a unit. You can use these filter options as well. Now, once you click on any of the inventory which is available, it will give you an option at the bottom. The inventory card will open. Just click on it. And then it will give you an option to see all the details of the inventory. All the details such as unit details will be available over here. Pricing related information like your basic charges or other charges and the total sales amount. Also, if there are multiple payment plans, you can view and select any payment plan and create a quotation from here as well. Now, once you click on create quote, a quotation will be created and you can click on generate quotation. An email will be sent to you with all the information and you can check your email to view the PDF. Now let's see another way how you can access inventory on your sales app. You can click on the three dots here. It will give you an access to more option. Then you can click on inventory and then you'll have an option to select the project. Once you click on the project, it will give you the phase wise and the tower wise information of all the inventory, which is available as per your project. You can click on any phase or any tower to open more details about it. Once you click on it, you will be able to see all the inventory, which is available, which is booked blocked or unavailable to book also there is an option of hamburger sign wherein you can click on it and you can see floor wise information of the inventory or you can click on the filter as well now let us take an example let's say you want to view all the two bhks which are on 26th 25th and 20th floor which are available you can select the filter you can select the budget filter as well and you can click the on view results once you click on view results, you will be able to see all the units which are available as per your requirement. You can click on any unit. Once you click on the unit at the bottom, the unit card will be available. Just click on it and you can move on to check all the information such as the unit details will be available over here. You will be able to see the pricing like the basic charges and the other charges. You can also view the payment plan which are already configured in the system. You can select any payment plan. However, please note whenever you want to generate a quotation from here, you will have an option to search for the client details by their name or the number. Once you select for the client details, you can click on the payment plan and then the create code button will be activated. Once you click on the create code, it will give you an option to edit the code which you have generated or if you want to go ahead with the generated code, click on generate code and the quotation will be generated and shared on your email. You can view the PDF and share it with the client as well. In this section, we will cover about how to block a unit via inventory. Now let's assume you have a client for whom you want to block a unit instead of booking. You have shared the quotation with them. Now you want to keep it blocked so that once the deal is finalized, you can book accordingly. Now there are two ways of blocking a unit. One is from the lead page you can directly click, click on view inventory and do it also there is another option from more you can do that let us look at the first option click on any lead for whom you want to block an inventory now please note if you want to block an inventory the lead should be in visit done status and above here there is a view inventory option clicking on it it will take you to the inventory page you can select the desired tower and the phase in which you want to block the inventory now here I have options to see all the units which are available, booked, blocked, unavailable. 
Also, you can use the filters if you want to search based on any configuration, phone, floor number, budget, or status. Let's assume I want to see all the two BHKs which are available from floor 20 till 26th. I have selected these filters. And here, as you can see, there is only one flat available uh, in 19th floor. I am selecting the same and proceeding ahead. Now, once you proceed ahead here, you'll be able to view all the information for that particular unit. Like the unit details will show you the unit number, configuration, carpet area, balcony area, all the information about the unit. Pricing will give you an access to see the pricing information, which has been updated. Or you can see the basic charges and the other charges. And last, you will have an option to see the plan as well. If you want to select any plan and create a code, you can do that. However, as we are looking at blocking the inventory, at top, there is an option to block the unit. Now, please note, whenever you block a unit, there is a time set from the backend by the inventory owner for which you can block the unit. If you don't complete proceed with the booking, then the unit will be unblocked. Like in this case, this unit will be blocked for next two days. Now here, I'll just updating the details. And clicking on done, here you will be able to see that your unit is successfully blocked. In any scenario, if you want to unblock or you can want to directly move on to book now, you can use these two options available. Now going ahead with the second option. Second option is you can block a unit from the more option. Uh, here there is an option to see inventory. You'll be able to see your project. Click on it. Clicking on it will take you again to the inventory option. Here, as we have seen earlier, you can see all the details available for that particular inventory. You can click on any available inventory, move ahead. This will again take you to the inventory unit details page. Here you can view all the details like unit details, pricing, payment plan, and then there is a block unit option. Now the only difference over here is if you want to block the inventory from here, you will have to add the lead for which you want to block the unit. You can search by the lead name or number. And once you have added the lead, then you can block the unit. And we have successfully blocked the unit from the more option as well. Now, please note, it's very important that in any scenario, if you're not seeing the option to block the unit, first check whether the lead is status is visit done or above. If the lead status is not visit done or above, you won't get this option to block the unit. In this section, let us learn about more on inventory, how you can view, how you can search, how you can filter inventory as per your requirement. Now here, as you can see on the screen, I have an option to see phase wise and tower wise details. I'm just selecting on a particular tower. Here, you'll be able to see all the inventory which is available to book, all the inventory which has been booked by someone else or inventory which has been blocked or unavailable to book. Also, to keep it easy and simple, there is an option to move to the card view. You can click on the hamburger menu and here, as you can see, it has changed to the card view and you can view the details on floor wise information as well. Now, clicking on the nine squares will get you back to the classic view. Then there is an option of filter. Let's say if you want to use a particular set of filters to narrow down on the inventory as per your requirement, like you can search basis, the configuration, the number of flows or any particular flows if you are looking at then there is an option to search basis any budget as per your requirement or the status which is available or unavailable to be blocked now once you have applied the filters you can view the inventory as per the set filters and then you can go ahead and proceed with the blocking the same in this section we will learn about unblocking a unit which you have previously blocked from the inventory option now, there are two ways a unit can be unblocked. One is automatically the unit can be released if it crosses the blocking duration. Second option is you can manually go ahead and unblock the unit as well. Now, let us look at the first option. Now, please note whenever a inventory setup is done, the inventory owner has an option to update the duration for which the unit can be blocked and the duration for which it can auto release. As you can see over here, the, this unit has been blocked by me, but it will auto release in two days. Now, let us take an example. 
let's say for some reason i am not able to book this particular unit then after two days this unit will be auto unblocked and then others will have an option to block the unit accordingly there is one more option wherein in any scenario any inventory which you have blocked you can manually unblock the unit as well let's say the client is no longer interested to purchase that particular unit what you can do is here there is a unblock unit option you can click on it it will ask you for a confirmation click on confirm and the blocking is cancelled it will be able available for others to view and block accordingly also please note you cannot unblock any unit which has been booked by your colleagues or your team members you can only view and unblock any unit which has been blocked by you also in any scenario if the lead is marked as failed then also the unit will be unblocked and available for others to book accordingly